Do you often feel intimidated by skillful players in a one-on-one -on -one situation? Well, today we're gonna to be looking at a drill that's gonna help you to feel more confident against skillful players that can use 3D skills, looking at feet, body, and stick position. So one of the biggest mistakes that we make in defense is our hips are square and we get caught flat-footed. The problem with that is if the, the attacker comes towards me, I'm then beaten, okay? So he's ahead of me and I've got no way of getting back. With a side-on approach, I can not only stay with the attacker, I can also force them where I want them to go. So I want to protect this inside line, okay, and force them, if they come inside, I'm in a position to make a nice strong stick tackle on the forehand. Now, when you're playing against a skillful player, there might be times where they might beat you with an inside tuck, for example. Now, the key thing here is if you do get beaten, instead of turning out, we're going to be blind, okay, what is important is this right hip opens up and you stay with them and you shadow them just like you did on the other side. And even if they tuck inside again, again, this left hip opens up and you're able to stay with them channeling all the way through. You wait for the opportunity when the ball is loose to go in for your tackle. So patience is key here. So the other key thing is our distance from the player. Here I'm too far away. They've still got time to look up and make a pass. Okay, so we want to get close enough to put pressure, but not too close and no flying in tackles where we can be easily beaten. Okay, so as I'm closing down, putting on pressure, as soon as there's too much exposure of the ball, that's my opportunity to step in and make that tackle. All right, when it comes to tackling, obviously you do need to be a bit careful and stay on the good side of the umpire. So make sure when you're going in for tackles, two hands on the stick, nice and strong, so that you've got more chance of getting that blow. If you're a hockey player over 35, looking for ways to improve and take your game to the next level, check out my free training I've put together called the four ways to modernize your game. You can find the link in the description or head to my bio to get instant access.